To showcase full operational capability, the Air Force Global Strike Command held its first ever Global Strike Challenge in conjunction with the Technology and Innovation Symposium. The Global Strike Challenge pitted all Global Strike wings in competitions testing missile, bomber, and security forces in operations, maintenance, and tactics. The Global Strike Challenge encourages a culture of excellence and pride, builds a spree de corps, and recognizes the command's best. I tell you, when you have competitions like this, the idea is that you create a chance to find the best of the best, and you hone your skills and you get better at what you do. The symposium, co-hosted by the Cyber Innovation Center in Bossier City, Louisiana, helped develop insight into the nuclear deterrence and global strike missions. Both the symposium and competition helped forge a culture of excellence and expertise. And it's a chance for us to celebrate what we do, and a chance to come and talk and trade ideas and, uh, and renew acquaintances and to build the strength of this entire community. So, I mean, I think that really, it's, it's all about the culture. Around 400 airmen from Global Strike Command's six wings joined reserve and guard units in the competition, as well as B-1 bomber teams from Air Combat Command. The Global Strike Challenge culminated in a spirited score posting featuring driving music, unit pride, Number one, 91st, always first. and awards in 17 categories. The 509th Bomb Wing from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri walked away with the most awards and bragging rights until next year's competition. The knowledge each airman gains from the yearly Global Strike Challenge raises the bar at each base, strengthening the Air Force nuclear enterprise for years to come. I'm Airman First Class Joe Bowles, Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana.